Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartner, and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today, we have the great pleasure of meeting with Mark McNacker. He's the author of a new book on virtual selling. Welcome, Mark. Thank you, Gerhard. So glad to be here. Well, when I looked through the book, um, I found it really fascinating that you created like six pillars for virtual selling. Would you mind walking us through that? Sure, Gerhard. Uh, so this new book called Mastering Virtual Selling, Orchestrating Sales Success. And the operating framework here is that the big thing that's changed in the virtual world is this concept of orchestration, right? And, and if you think about a great call, whether you're doing a Zoom call or you're on Teams or one of the other services, there's a lot that goes into making a great experience for the people with whom you're communicating. The metaphor that we're using is this concept of a conductor. You know, the conductor is the one orchestrating all of the players to make it work. And when you think about team selling, your ability to pull in other people, to use video, to use PDFs, to use screen sharing, to use whiteboards, you know, breakout rooms, all of that stuff, there's an absolute element of orchestration that the very best people do. When we think about mastering virtual selling, it's, it's these six pillars. The first one's about creating an exceptional buying experience. And what that's really about is the distinction that most of us in sales think about sales as a sales process. And we forget that buyers don't think of themselves going through a sales process. They think of themselves going through a buying process. So the way they do research in advance, right? They're, they're not thinking, oh, I'm top of funnel right now. They're thinking, I'm just doing research before I even want to talk to somebody. And, and the awareness of that shift uh, can make a difference in the way you communicate with people. The second one I just mentioned to you is this notion of orchestration. There's a fun example in the book from a guy who has over 20 million views on uh, TED Talk and YouTube. His name is Maestro Ben Zander. And he's an amazing guy from the Boston Philharmonic, 82 years old, and one of the most spellbinding presenters you'll ever see. I had a personal experience with him where he taught me about a concept called backstage and front stage as a performer that, that is the, the big uh, framework that we use in this book. So in, in chapter three, the third pillar, we call it front stage selling. Gerhard, front stage is everything that you do that is synchronous. So a phone call is synchronous. A Zoom call is synchronous. When you're live on screen, that's synchronous front stage experience. Much like an actor who has stepped from behind the curtain to the front of the stage, you're out there live with the people. The backstage, however, is the everything that you do backstage to get ready to go front stage. And what I can tell you is, the ability to have all of your content organized as an example, what we call an arsenal, to make it really easy to access what you need when you need it, is just one simple example of the difference between people who master this new, this new world and people who don't. And the last two are just uh, the key elements of enabling a virtual selling team. There's a number of different elements that you need to think about as a sales leader, both to equip your team with front stage and backstage, and then finally, how do you step confidently into the future? We're not going back to 2019. And that doesn't mean there won't be in-person events. It just means the reality of the future is that even when you have an in-person meeting, there will likely be important people who will be coming into that meeting in, in a virtual format. So you're going to have to be fluent with both languages regardless. I love that front stage and backstage metaphor because... Um, we we need to prepare ourselves to do a lot more uh, in a shorter period of time in the virtual world. We literally talk about that. We call it the one third rule. Gerhard, if you and I were meeting in person, uh, you know, you think about a typical meeting, we might have an hour together. But so often in this virtual world, we're going to have 30 minutes, maybe even less than 30 minutes to actually talk about it. So our whole belief system is if you do certain things backstage beforehand, like I might send you a short form video. I know with one of the ideas that you and I are working on, you, sh you sent me some specific collateral before a meeting that I had with other executives. And I was able to take what you did to literally save time in the meeting, cut right to the chase. And they understood because they had a chance to digest it, what's in it for them. And then, and then the follow up on the backside. So at the highest level, what we're doing is we're taking the concept of before, during, and after, and we've actually created something we call the micro buying experience. We're saying every time you interact, there's this before, during, and after, and we call that the micro buying experience.
Thank you, Mark. Where can people get the book? Uh, they head over to Amazon and uh, buy it uh, in paperback or as a, uh, a turn page. They can go to Amazon. However, they can also go to masteringvirtualselling.com. And if you go there, you're going to get access to an arsenal. We basically are giving you an, an entire uh, arsenal that you can co-opt things that you can use, learnings that we've had from across a wide range of clients between myself and my co-authors. And uh, to the extent that you have a great arsenal, it improves the odds that you're going to be able to create a great buying experience. So masteringvirtualselling.com. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you.